What's the motherfucking deal, man? Welcome to The Den. If you're not familiar with The Den, The Den is a place where we have uncensored opinions, where we discuss what's going on in life, uh, breaking news, whatever is kind of happening, you know what I mean? So it, it is kind of is, but again, it's the best conversation on the internet. Make sure you join us live every night at 10 p.m. Central, uh, where we discuss a variety of topics depending on what's happening that day or just general life discussions that need to be had. Uh, 10 p.m. Central, live every night. Like and subscribe so you don't miss that. Make sure you hit the bell button for the notification. But today we're going to talk about uh, Jesse, Jesse, I don't know if it's Jesse or Jesse, Smollett, Smollett, whatever it may be. Uh, apparently, uh, an actor from Empire. I don't watch TV like that. I don't definitely don't watch no shit like that. So um, I, I'm guessing, I'm hoping I'm saying it right. But I really don't care if I have or not. But uh, what happened is apparently a couple of days ago, he got attacked uh, allegedly by two white guys, masked up. Uh, threw a rope on his neck. I can't remember if it said it was a noose or just a rope. Uh, uh, doused with an unknown chemical. And also, there was something else that happened. They, they said it'd be him, but they yelled MAGA country, but that came out later. So, you know, this has been circulating. Everybody's coming out, oh, all the hate, all of this, that, and the third. Cool. I'm a person that likes to sit on shit for a couple of days to really determine whether it is what they said it was because a lot of stories nowadays, especially when they get that viral uh, kind of feel going around some a lot of shit comes out fishy a lot of shit comes out a little bit different we'll talk about some other examples of that here in a minute but before all this happened apparently he had received a letter about a week prior or something like that i'm assuming they film you know empire in la or somewhere like i don't i don't know i have no, no, no idea what the show is even based whatever um i'm assuming la though because that's where everything seems to get filmed and he re received a letter there saying you know, some stuff about him. I'll post a letter up here in a second so you guys can see it. But saying some stuff about him and whatever. So I guess the Fox people, they offered security to him and I guess the other actors too. He declined it. A week later, um, he gets attacked in Chicago. So I'm assuming, I'm thinking it's very odd that, you know, maybe they got a hate crime in L.A., but then you get attacked in Chicago. I'm not saying that mail can't travel. I'm sure it, it can, but, you know, it, it is what it is. I think it would be odd that somebody's following him around, or I don't know. Again, just odd things to me, you know, and if y'all know more about it, you get the comments, but your opinions, your thoughts on it, you know, school me if I'm wrong. But this is why I find this story a little fishy, okay? Supposedly it happened around 2 a.m. Since then... Chicago police have basically went around getting footage from everywhere around that area. From what I'm told, I've never been to Chicago, but from what I'm told, basically downtown Chicago has cameras everywhere. So if something happened that it should be able to easy to locate that information. But basically they say the only footage they have is him in the sandwich shop. They've been checking, you know, all around the area, but they don't have anything with any attackers or anything resembling what he said. Um and again, so they said assume assume allegedly it happened about two AM and then the cops arrived when they got, you know, got there or after they were called, they got there about two forty five. Uh, he still had the rope around his neck. And so, again, I find that odd. Like. Man, if somebody fucking attacks you, you're going to take that shit off. You're not going to just leave it on there for fucking forty five minutes. Even if it was approximately if you're talking about 30 minutes, you're not going to leave it on there at all. Like, that's a weird fucking thing. Like, you're going to take it off. Hey, this is what was used. But you're not going to sit there wearing the shit. That that already kind of stands out as a little strange to me. Apparently, he was doused with an unknown chemical. Uh, later, only to discover that it was bleach. You know what bleach smells like. Like everybody knows what the fuck bleach smells like. I guess I don't know. Maybe you've been a celebrity for a long time. You ain't never had to clean shit. You know, maybe you didn't forgot. But bleach is bleach. Now that could have been mixed with some other shit. But whatever. Now the MAGA country thing only came out after it was getting reported around in TMZ. And it's funny that TMZ is the one that broke this news. Very interesting, right? Very interesting. That TMZ is the ones that broke this news. And then they're the ones that broke the MAGA country thing. Then the Chicago police officer had to go back and, and do like a secondary interview. And then that's when he told them, yeah, they yelled MAGA country. So I'm wondering, like, how did all this, you know, coming up? How does TMZ getting the news before the police is getting the news? You know, something to think about. Um, but anyway, you know, I, I just find some of this stuff strange. I find some of this shit concerning because it, it just seems odd. And then after he talked to police, then he was what I think he took himself to the hospital. If it was that bad of a beatdown, I think you, you would have went to the hospital, you know, immediately. We could have called the police to come up there or whatever else it would have been. I don't think it was that bad. I, I'll put some pictures up from what I've seen, I guess, the, the normal picture of him and then a the picture of the alleged incident. Um, 
But it, it just, I don't put it past anybody nowadays to fake shit for attention. Because what do you have to lose? I mean, and, and let's just think about some recent cases when we talk about racism. We know MAGA, anything MAGA is a hot topic right now. We just seen the MAGA hat kids and that was a whole thing. And that's a whole other conversation to have. But we just seen the MAGA hat thing with the kids start up a whole controversy. People like it's a polarizing topic. You know, you're going to get both sides. So if you yell somebody beat me up, it was racism and MAGA country, throw all that into one lump. It's going to generate attention. So I'm not saying the story's false. But right now, apparently there's been no proof. The FBI is assisting on the matter. There's been no proof that any of this has happened. And people are saying, oh, Trump needs to, uh, he needs to, to you know, to disassociate with that or those people. But how the fuck do we even know it happened? So think about it. I uh, can't remember where it was. I, think it was. I don't even know if it was in America. It might have been in Canada. It was in Canada or somewhere in America, basically. Remember the story about the little Muslim girl that said somebody racist had to chopped her shit off or, or chopped her hijab or something like that. Turns out that shit didn't happen. You know, we get stories of that uh, right before Trump got elected, I remember when they were talking that, that black church got burned down and they were talking about vote Trump and all. It turned out it was a, it was a church member that did it. Um, you hear a lot of these little stories and it, it's people who did it or when it's, if it's, if it's a, if it was a bunch of news between the little girl that just died here in Houston, um, Jasmine Barnes, and then, you know, Sean King and that whole group, everybody's pushing, pushing, pushing. And then it turns out it wasn't white. There was some black people, you know, being another random act of violence. And Sean King don't even want to pay the money out after that. Like, and, and the story dies down. And so that's what I'm saying. It, it's crazy how people will get behind something. It's not even about the news. It's to push an agenda nowadays. And a, a lot of the times the agenda is false. And that's just what I want to get away from. And that's the shit that I find is bullshit. And again, if it comes out, this shit is true and it happened. Hey, I'll make another video stating how I'm wrong and, and you know, uh, I'll, I'll eat crow on it or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But right now, this just smells fishy. You know what I mean? Go back to the apartment. Then the cops were called. Then you get there. You know, you could have your homeboy beat you up and rough you up and set that whole like hook. Because the thing about still wearing the rope is what's odd. Is what's most odd to me. If you got beat down and had enough time to put a rope, I think they'd have beat the brakes off your ass. And I don't. It didn't just like I said. He looked like his face could have been a little bit swollen, maybe like at the most. But if it was a beat down, like a real beat down, he'd have been fucked up. And he didn't look that fucked up. Because trust me, I didn't seen. It didn't even look like his eyes. I mean, again, like I say, maybe there's other pictures. Maybe that's all I saw. But I'll share what I can find and what I've seen. But it didn't look like a, a, an attack. It looked like a motherfucker walked into a doorway or something. You know what I'm saying? And fucking, you know, something somebody they'll say about, you know, when they, it's not a joke, but, you know, motherfuckers who are in, in abusive relationships will say, you know, I fail or, or something like and, and again, like I say, it could be somebody who did something. Who knows? It might have been some old weird ass you know, suspect ass role play shit he might have been into and then try to blame him. But like, who the fuck knows, man? You know, but I'm, I'm, these stories keep coming out and then they end up falling the fucking, the fucking ground falls from under them and then everybody just acts like the shit never happened. And then, so it, it, again, it fuels up one side and one side is hushed about it. Like, you know me, I don't give, well, you, don't, you may know me, you may not know me, but I don't give a fuck. And I'm just like, I'm just pointing out the bullshit on from, from everybody. And that's just really what it is. I'm not MAGA, I'm not fucking... What, I don't know what the fuck you call them. I'm just me, and and I'm gonna call bullshit when I see bullshit. And this story smells like bullshit. But again, hey, if you disagree, let me know in the comment section below if it's something that you know that I don't know. If it's something that you heard that I ain't heard, uh, but all this shit sounds absurd, you know, drop that in the comments below. But like I said, you know, make sure you like, you subscribe. Uh, we will be live at 10 p.m. tonight. If you want to talk about it, again, if you're new to it, man, feel free. We have a line. We'll open up the call in line. You can call and share your thoughts. Um, but again. I'm your host, Ed Honcho. This story just seems suspect for for <laughs> from my opinion. Uh, but with that being said, hey, y'all be cool like y'all to be cool. I appreciate you checking out the video, and I'm out.